In this video, I'll discuss getting familiar with the Data Protection API. The Data Protection API, short for Application Programming Interface, simplifies the process of storing user data in files or keychain items. It means that developers can restrict access to certain data by only making it accessible when a device is unlocked. And developers can mark protected files or keychain items using constants that define the file or keychain item protection class. Protection classes are identified by whether the class protects files or whether it protects keychain items, and when data that's protected by the class should be made available, keeping in mind that the data is always available in unlocked mode only. Data protection classes are implemented through a key hierarchy. On the left-hand side of the diagram, we see an example of an unprotected system where the NS File Protection None class indicates that data can be accessed at any time, even when the device is locked. On the right-hand side, the NS File Protection Complete class indicates that the data is protected so that it can only be accessed when the device is unlocked, and that means that the user has to provide his or her passcode to unlock the device. Note how the UID key and device key on the bottom left feed into the passcode key on the right. So at the root is the UID key and user passcode. The UID is a key unique to each iOS device and can be used to encrypt or decrypt data. The passcode key is encrypted to generate a passcode key when a device is unlocked. The passcode key is preserved in memory until the device is locked. The UID key is used to encrypt a static byte string to generate the device key. The device key is used to encrypt file protection class keys, and the passcode key is also used to encrypt some of the file protection class keys. This ensures that class keys are only accessible when a device is unlocked, ensuring an important layer of security for iOS devices.